What's going on guys? This is Boss Ross LP and say hello to the card of the day. Goblin fan. In this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, we're going to be using this hopefully to good effect. As long as this card remains face up on the field, all flip summon monsters of level 2 or lower are immediately destroyed without their effects being activated. Now, this may seem counterintuitive, counter considering that it kind of fucks with the entirety of Magician of Faith's use. However, since I only have one of both in my deck, I don't think I'm going to run into too many situations where that's going to be annoying. On the flip side, I'm going to tell you right now how many times the opponent uses shit like Maneater Bug and how annoying that fucking bullshit gets. In this game, it gets quite annoying. So, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal if I throw Goblin Fan in there. Otherwise, let's just throw something else out, because I do have some mostly okay cards. Like, they're not all awful. First off, we need to get this fucker out of the deck. Like, 700 attack, 600 defense, awful. Just absolutely terrible. That's what we're going to be removing first. Definitely these shitty cards that don't have any purpose whatsoever. Oh, hey, Petite Dragon. I know him. <laughs> Anyway, Goblin Fan to the main deck. Alright. Good to go. Let's go give Campaign a try. I said I was going to be doing Tail last time, so let's get going. You really want to do me? Wow, okay. Oh boy. Rock. Fuck. Let's go. You got Taya. I got a Mystic Horseman. I'm not sure what the hell that tail is going to do. See what you got. And it looks like Magician or a Mystical. What the fuck this name is? I don't know. I don't remember what the hell I'm trying to think of. Uh, uh, Mystical Elf. That's what I'm thinking of. Alright, so we got Trap Hole Swords. Um, some decent stuff. We have Mega Morph. Oh. Well, that could help, I guess. That'd be a fun throwaway card. Doesn't really help me too much, though. Considering I'm probably going to be a bit higher health than her. Alright, Mr. Corseman. I don't want to let Taya summon too much shit. This isn't exactly the best hand for it. So I'm going to leave Trap Hole for her summon. If she does uh, Flip Summon. Or, or Tribute Summon. I mean. Yeah, definitely. I do have Swords as a backup, just in case. I'm going to go for it. Alright, Mr. Corseman. What'd you got for me? In before Mystical Elf, because that's totally what's going to be. What do we got? Gee, what else could I possibly attack in? And it's Supporter in the Shadows. Okay. Well, glad I didn't waste Trap Hole on that. Taya generally doesn't have too many high, uh, high attack cards. She really has, like, a lot of shit with good defense. Like, Tristan even has better attack cards than she does, honestly. We'll see, though. Ooh, except for Gemini Elf. Forgot about that bitch. Absolutely. Trap pull her. There we go. That's what the trap pull is for. Gemini Elf is a little bit of a problem. A little bit too high attack. Ooh. Oh, wait, that's a level 5 again. God damn it. Every time I see that, I think that's, like, actually a good card, but I'm like, no, that's level 5. Like, son of a bitch, man. Alright. Let's throw in Snake Yashi, I guess. Uh, why? I don't know. Fucking because, I guess. I'm kind of hoping that I can special summon using Snake Yashi. See if she goes for a set. That would be certainly useful. Bam, and Snake Yashi for another direct attack. Already slammed into her pretty hard. That is a disgusting card. It's like a snake with a palm tree. Who knows. Anyway. What you got, Taya? Other than Gemini Elf, that's like her, her main draw of the deck. She does have some life-gaining cards, if I remember correctly. Or of course, it could just be the other main game. Oh, fuck. I forgot about Beautiful Headhuntress. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, there goes Snake Yashi. That's fine. I do have my card. Well, Taya, you did better than Tristan. You already got 600 on me. I'll give you that one. That was alright. 
Alright. Doesn't matter either way, I'm just gonna spell summon. Oh, well, there's Magician of Faith. It's only spell cards, and I just threw away Trap Hole. Alright, well. I could try going for a Wombo combo with Mega Morph, but no, that probably wouldn't work that well. Yeah, let's not try and get tricky with Taya. There's Kairushian! Swords, I guess? Why not? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! We're gonna set her next turn, and then we're all good to go. We'll be able to get Swords back, and pretty much Taya's not gonna be able to get through this. I mean, maybe she has one Mystical Space Typhoon, but of course, that's what we just in her face for, so I can always get that back. Due to this, she's probably going to be setting everything she's got. Although, actually, I'm kind of curious how uh, how this works. Because I know this makes your opponent flip up their field, so I'm kind of curious to see if like, it, it works past the first turn. Well, not to go. Oh, one turn has passed. Two-headed King Rex is not a bad card. I will wait on this uh, Magician of Faith then. Alright, what do we got here? Should probably still go for Kaido Shen. I mean, it's only 200 damage that I'm missing out on. And if it's Mystical Elf, then I'm only losing... Oh, yep, there it is. Alright, well, this is a bit of a wall I'm gonna have to try and find a way to get over. A little bit of a tricky wall, honestly. You know, I could just keep slamming my face into Mystical Elf and then use Megamorph. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, it is. Be good for one Wombo combo, and then that'd be about it. And, and you know, Megamorph would only get me past the Mystical Elf. I wouldn't be able to actually use that in like, totally increased damage to any other sort of effect. Alright, Summon Skull could really use you right now. Uh, there's Neo. Neo's not bad. Alright, well, let's go. I don't think she has anything else with uh, that attack, or that defense, I mean, that. Nope, just another Petite Angel. I wonder if you can make a Petite deck. You probably could. That'd be weird. Alright. Yep, Megamorph's not going to help me at all. Alright. And to you! What? What the hell was the point of that? Uh oh. I guess she flipped it over because uh, it ended. Oh, hey, yeah, there's my own Mystical Elf. Well, anyway. Found the flip summon. Look at that effect! Gimme. This is why I love Magician of Faith. So useful. Holy shit. Give me that. Alright, what are we gonna do here? We really want to slam into that Mystical Elf, so... Let's just go for, uh, Neo, I guess. Dude, we're really gonna be able to slam into her this turn if we're lucky. Alright, let's go. In our battle phase... Let's go. First off, let's take care of that face down. Actually, yeah, yeah, we need to take care of that face down, whatever the hell it is. I'm gonna be missing out on a little bit of attack, but it's Water Element. Oh my. Was that the original Japanese artwork for that? Because I think that was definitely a little bit of a boobage there. No, actually, it was more like her cover. I don't know. That was some interesting artwork. Get fucked. And we're golden. I can even do some damage with Magician of Faith, which I always seem to be able to do against Zuber. I'm not sure why, it just always happens. Always am able to summon Magician of Faith and able to do, like, chip damage against him. Doesn't really help much considering she has 300 attack, but, you know. It's always good for something. Anywho, main phase two. And because we got Magician of Faith out there, we're gonna wanna throw up Swords of Revealing Light so she survives and help take a shitload of damage. Because she is definitely target numero uno. 
Though technically, I could probably have just cheated the AI and made her summon an attack position just so she could fuck up the Magician of Faith. But who knows, we will end up doing. Yeah, she'll set now. Oh well. That's fine. We got Pot of Greed. That's not a bad card. If I can get Summon Skull out of this, I'm basically guaranteed to win. I don't think there's anything she could have at this point I would actually save her. Uh, no, I don't want to activate this with space time. No, 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 I don't. Alright, well. Big insect. Got a full house today. No, I don't. See, this is why it's so annoying to have Mystical Space Tactical in your deck. Like, I never thought that card would actually be this used. Like, it's annoying. Alright. She's probably gonna have, uh... I don't think she'll have Man Bug. It's too gross of a card. Oh, there's Queen's Double. Hey, why the fuck would you set that in defense? That basically can attack the opponent directly. It's... Oh! No, 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 it's not even okay. 300 damage is just not that good. Queen's Double is like one of the worst cards that can attack directly. There are much better ones. Like that one card that gains a thousand attack every time it hits directly and it can attack directly. That shit is awesome. Alright. Well, go for it, Nia. I guess you'll get the kill today. And with that, we win. No, I don't want to activate. You know what? Why not? We'll have fun. Yes, I will activate one. Mystical Space Typhoon. Ha! Surprise! I designate itself! Ha! There was absolutely no point to that. Just to fuck with her. Oops, I lost. Yeah, there's a lot of things you need to take a look at with that one, Taya. Alright, well, in honor of her, I guess I'll go for uh, Miss Twelve. Okay, here we go. Here's some better cards. Urubi is not terrible. That's a fusion. Okay. And we got Machine Conversion Factory. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, that's alright. I guess. Why is it such a rare card? It's like shining. It's like, holy fucking tits, man. Crazy attack and defense by 300. Good lord. Alright, well. What are we gonna do with that, I guess? Do I even have any machines? Let's take a look here. There's no real easy way to take a look. Uh, it's a warrior? Hmm. Any of these guys look like machines to you? No. No machines. He's a warrior. Warrior. No, I don't think I have any machine types. Uh, yeah. Yeah. None. I don't have a single machine type. That card is nice, but it's worthless. Uh, what do I need? Arm mail plus a one-eyed shield knight. Plus I need polymerization. All for a shitty fusion that no one would ever in their right mind use. Awful. Does it even have an effect? No, it doesn't. Why would I even ask? Yep. Bunch of Garbo cards. Urubi's alright. Yeah, you get in the main deck, man. As for this, uh, we'll throw something else out. Yeah, 500. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're awful. But in exchange, I have Urubi now, which is okay. Urubi's not awful. Either way, that wraps that up. So when we come back next time for more, uh, more Yu-Gi-Oh! Guess we're gonna take on Bakura next. Sounds about right. Ugh. Might get a little bit more challenging next time, though. I don't think by much. See you guys for that next time. Have a good one, y'all.